Okay. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Rajiv Chamraj, co-founder and CEO of Bardzi. We see ourselves as FedEx of internal logistics in hospitals and, and in hospitality. Our first beachhead is in hospitals. We come with a strong background in, uh, in tech, uh, especially in robotics automation and selling experience in, uh, to healthcare industry. Hospitals have a big problem. On one hand, the costs are rising. On the other hand, the utilization remains flat. Because of this, every hospital in America is under pressure to reduce their operating costs by $100 million by the, year, by the year 2030. The pressure to reduce the cost is coming from medical insurance companies and from the society in general. On the other hand, COVID-19 is increasing the need for contactless delivery solutions to address the issues of safety and efficiency. With our solution, we can reduce the operating cost by $30 million by modernizing the way the operations are done, from manual today to automating the movements of goods and services via our robots. Our robots are very modular in the sense that the same base model can be used for multiple use cases for today as well as in the future. Our lower total cost of ownership as well as our ability to work with the FDA-approved card system makes our solution attractive for hospitals and gives us a competitive advantage. Let's look at some of the examples uh, how we are helping our hospital uh, clients. Today, most of the uh, hospital operations, whether it's delivering food from the kitchen to the patient room, moving dirty linens, uh, biohazardous materials, and then even terminal cleaning uh, when, uh, when the patient leaves the room uh, requires, is done mostly manual. With our solution, all of this could be automated and optimized with just a touch of a button. Our market size is, our sum is $4 billion. Uh, this is based on bottoms up analysis and our relationship with our uh, launch customer. This sum as well as sum is going to increase as we, as we expand our footprint in the hospitals to integrate more and more uh, of, of the services with our robotic solution. We have proven ourselves with uh, Adventist Health, a leading 450 hospital chain in US, who is going to be our launch customer. We have an LOI from them for deployment, uh, which we are working as we speak. We are ready to scale with JLL. JLL manages about 1,500 hospital properties all over US. They're going to be our channel partner and they've expressed to be our strategic partner too. With the work that we have done so far, we anticipate five uh, patents, two on the design level, which you know the system that we have designed to address the internal logistics in hospitals. Three that are utility patents in the areas of indoor navigation, uh, uh, indoor navigation, sorry, indoor mapping, navigation, and visual assistance in delivery. We did face competition before we could even walk. Uh, because of the way we designed our system by working with the hospital, the software stack, as well, our, as well as our lower total cost of ownership makes our solution attractive. We did beat a lot of these guys, all of them in our proof of concept stage itself. This business requires tremendous experience in business development to product in order to execute. So we bring a combined 50 years of experience in the healthcare industry, robotics and enterprise sales. Anup comes with a strong background in robotics and navigation. Daniel comes uh, with a Rolodex. He can open uh, doors in any hospital system. Our advisor, Professor Koch, is an authority on robotics and vision. He is helping us in fusing the data from different sensor systems so that our robots can work efficiently and safely among humans. We're looking to raise $2 million for a two-year runway to hit a 3 million ARR. Most of the money will be spent on sales and marketing and service deployment with the existing customer base, as well as you know, a chunk of it will be spent for developing the next generation of products. In summary, our vision to be the FedEx of internal logistics, our total, our lower to total cost of ownership, as well as uh, no modification needed for our solution to function in existing hospitals, and our relationship with Adventist and JLL, and our team's desire to win at any cost gives us an unfair advantage. Thank you. I look forward to your questions. Okay. Go ahead, any questions? 
Yeah, sorry, just to be clear, so you're doing a pilot with that hospital system now, right? Is that what I is that what we heard? So we yes, so we started the pilot back in March because of COVID, we had to stop. So we're completing the pilot uh, sometime uh, this year and then getting ready to launch uh, uh, with uh, Adventist. Okay, and is it is the pilot a paid pilot or how are you how's that ha how's that working? No, I think it's not a paid pilot. I think we are we are we are incurring the cost on our side. They are incurring the cost on our side. They have put in about fifteen people on the project uh, because a lot of part of the product development happened with their assistance, and they are also modifying their uh, doors and the uh, elevators for the robot to work automatically, so that the robot itself can open the doors and the elevators. Okay, so there's a lot of infrastructure implementation required, and that, that little orange box to the right there that you have, you know, you have beacons placed around the around the hospital to control the robot. Is that what we're seeing? No, no. That what, what you what you see the right side is a is a self charging station. So when the robot okay. runs out of battery, I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah. so w w one thing I want to make sure there's no infrastructure modification needed, you know, because the hospitals wanted a complete automation. So that right. means that the robot itself should be able, able to open the doors. A lot of these doors are securely closed for security reasons. Right. So, so uh, you can't keep the doors open and the elevators open. So that's why they are doing it. But that's a, you know, right now, you know, you hit the button with your elbow or whatever they do now. Correct, I mean, correct, okay. correct. So you're going to, you have to install some sort of whatever, um, you know, Bluetooth something. No, right? no, no, no Bluetooth. It's a pretty simple solution. Uh, you, okay. it, we incorporate uh, card readers, just like, you know, robot is treated, treated as a human being. So when it comes there, it has got a, a card reader. It senses uh, the robot and says, hey, this robot has got the permission to, to go through this door or to go through this elevator. Okay, so what have you learned in the pilot that surprised you? I just be, I mean, I, I mean, you can imagine all sorts of crazy stuff going on in terms of traffic and congestion and people running into things and whatever. I don't know. What have you learned in the pilot that, that you know, is important and or surprised you? So I think the important thing is, you know, uh, all these hospitals are designed 40, 50 years ago. I don't think anybody thought about robots at that time. <laughs> at that time. So it's the it's the robots uh, uh, need to e coexist with humans. Right now, their hospitals have said they are not going to change their operations just because a robot is running. So you need you need to learn to coexist with us. That was that's a big challenge for us. Right. So, so a human a human pushing a cart would sort of seeing somebody coming would move to the side or whatever. Right, right, well, right. I mean, man, that seems like it's hard, but okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Paul has a question. So I, I mean, you just said something which you contradicted yourself. So I'm just curious because, you know, I'm uh, in a robotics company which does waste management and their challenge was because they couldn't modify what existed. So their robot now takes the same place where a human being used to. And... Uh, so because your robot seems like really large. And so the question is, does it really require changes to the infrastructure in some sense? Because you already said elevators need to be changed. And also I'm worried about like, if the card reader is allowed as a security, could I just ride on top of the robot and just get through when I'm not authorized? Sure. So if you if you see what we are addressing, right, we are addressing the underbelly of hospital operations. So these are all uh, beyond a secure doors and other things, right? It's not uh, every Tom, Dick and Harry can get into these service corridors. So uh, so in that respect, you know, you don't you don't see people flying through uh, 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 on top of the robot uh, to get into any, wherever they are. They got they got from that perspective, the security is there. Second thing is this robot is only 22 inches long, 22, uh, 26 inches wide, and then about eight, 19 inches deep. So it is, it, is not a, it is not any bigger than other card systems that you see in the hospital. Okay, so then you, your diagram kind of makes it look like it is really, really big. Yeah, I think I've I blown, up, I blown up the yeah. thing to just to make sure. That it's, it's... do that next time. But I have one uh, quick question. So you said you have a $3 million LOI and then you said you are trying to get uh, to 3 million ARR in two years. So what's the fact? So the fact is 3 million, right? You know, if I can hit it in the next year, 
I'll be I will be very thrilled. So what I'm projecting the revenue is I I need to be on the conservative side. That's what I'm saying. It's we will hit a three million ARR in the next two years. But if you already have an LOI, that so, means you so, can get more the customer. So I, I it takes time to deploy too, right? It's not just one hospital. So you have to deploy it in my, in uh, four fifty hospitals. Uh, the hospital has identified ten hospitals to start with. So if if I hit it uh, the three million, I'm fine with that. I had my advice is for you to start measuring something called ACV, annual contract value. Yeah. Which is um, that's really bookings, and it'll yeah. be bigger than ARR, and investors yeah. will pay attention to it if you track it. Yeah. Okay, Rajiv. Thanks. I think uh, we have run out of time. Okay.